So today I want to show you how I saved over 130 gigabytes of space on my Mac. Um, my Mac has 250 gigabyte, and I was able to shrink down uh, more than half. So stick around. So this is my Mac here. So you can see I have only 19 gigabytes of space left. And I was wondering why, because I move stuff on hard drive and I back up. And then I'll show you this. Um, I have, uh, so I have uh, this nifty tool called uh, Clean My Mac X. And then, uh, so this application actually cleans uh, unnecessary stuff. And also this called the space lenses. So it kind of tells me uh, what, what kind of folder and files are taking my space. So this is pretty handy. Now, first I thought it's gonna be application because I have lots of apps. And then, but, but my application is only, you know, about six gigabytes. So it's not that a lot. So this, this is kind of cool. So it, it tells you which app is taking up space. But uh, my application is only, you know, six gigabytes. So it's not a big deal. Um, and I thought, here we go. So the users here, so it takes 180 gigabyte almost. So let's click that. And I thought uh, it's gonna be my document because I store my document even though I move stuff and I back up. So I move most of the big uh, files to my external hard drive. So um, it's only 2.3 gigabytes, so which is not that bad because I have 250 gigabyte for entire space. Then I, uh, okay, here we go, so the library, so that's 175 gigabytes. So let's click that. Now did I find out, okay, so the mobile documents, uh, 7.4, so I have to investigate that what that is. And application support, um, so let's click that like that. Looks like I can shrink some too. Uh, okay, here we go, so the Garmin, so some, so something like that Garmin application, I don't use that anymore and actually I delete it. Uh, the application long time ago. So this iWeb, uh, iWeb is an old, old um, uh, Apple web design tool. So I was using that almost 10 years ago and they're uh, still there. So let's take a look. So it looks like there are all the files still in there. It says old iWeb file. So definitely I can clean that up. So something like that. Now, so anyway, I'm not gonna do that right now. But the thing is, so let's go back here. So this mail is 133 gigabytes. So I had no idea what that was. So let's click that. So I don't know what this is, V7. And then, uh, so it looks like the V7. And looks like, here we go. So there's still like 131 gigabyte. So it's a gmail.m box. So that is the Gmail, um, the draft um, mailbox. So, so I have to investigate this. And I went into Google. So they have like lots of people are having same issue. So this is about a Mac issue. So that uh, Mac client mail application, uh, some reason they stored or duplicates lots of emails uh, uh, on the draft folder. So that's kind of, you know, piling up over time. So I haven't cleaned it up, like since I bought my Mac, probably like five years ago. So anyway, so I have to kind of dig into this and then uh, I have to see if I can delete it first. Uh, I'm back to this screen now. So 131 gigabyte. And then uh, definitely, I don't think I want to delete the whole thing because, um, you know, I'm probably gonna lose all my Gmail account. But this, okay, so that the all mailbox is 2.63 gigabytes, so that makes sense to me. But this draft is 128 gigabytes, so draft, uh, it doesn't sound like I need it. So uh, if I delete it, it's just a draft, it's no big deal. So, um, but I'm gonna make a backup just in case. Okay, so let's find that the library folder. So it's gonna be under my user. So let's go to right here, open that up. Now you don't really see that it's it's hidden. Um, the way you can 
uh, reveal is you hold the uh, option key and up here it's a go now you can see it and you can open that up now it's here and then let's see so it's under mail and then uh, this guy here okay so it looks like it's taking a long time okay so here it is so let's take a look at this v7 that all right uh hmm oh looks like they're like old gmail uh, account as well so definitely uh, I can throw this out so I want to take a look how big that is though so that's not bad 31 and that's kind of the company I used to work for no longer okay so that definitely I can delete that and then okay so that's not a big deal uh, what's in here by the way Okay, so the draft email is uh, this 41B211, so 41B211, so in this folder, let's click that, and then I think this draft mailbox, okay, actually this is not the one, I think it's under Gmail, and then draft, so this one, the data looks like, uh, so let's take a look here, get information. So now it's calculating uh, size. So I'm gonna pause. Like, so uh, while we are waiting for that, uh, still calculating the size. So this must be it. Uh, let's take a look here. So so once again. So let's take a look at this one. So I'm gonna just go back. So so my user on the library and mail. So v7 and this uh, 41b whatever that is it's under here and gmail.m box and you don't want to probably delete the whole thing so you're going to just dig in here and then to draft you know you don't want to delete the whole series of uh, mailbox right so inbox and then uh sent box but the draft in here so under this folder so i think um I can delete this folder and then now uh, so that also looks like this yeah it looks like there are lots of lots of uh, data here yeah there's attachment here too and message um, so anyway so I don't know how many how many years of that But uh, before um, I delete whole thing, uh, I'm going to uh, back up to it just in case. So this is, uh, wow, 230 gigabyte. So um, yeah, I don't know what. I thought that was uh, 228. Okay, let's see what's happening here. So draft, the Gmail draft. And then let's see this data here. Uh, I'm going to, so data folder. So that's 230, uh, why it's 230. And then, so, most of them are from here so that looks like today um, yeah I think because I open it uh, let's see um, so this is most of them are back in 2017 that was the uh, over three years ago and how big is this so 21 I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna just back this up so I have this folder here uh, I'm gonna just uh, make a email uh, gmail draft yeah like M box backup all right so I'm gonna just grab this and uh, 
I'm sure you know it's gonna take a while so I'm not gonna um, make you um, make you guys wait so I'm gonna just pause here okay it took me a while so um, but the, from my Mac uh, this is the one data and move that just copy that to my hard drive so now I have a backup so um, okay so this is the file so 128 and I can probably click that and then hit to remove so let's see uh, you are about to remove files please note that selected file will be gone forever after you remove them give them a Okay. <clears throat> all right so I'm gonna just hit remove and uh, I'm sure it's gonna take a while and I think about that's okay I have a backup at least and this is a draft uh, folder so, so at least I don't know I, at least uh, uh, the old stuff is not that important first of all and then uh, some must be uh, on the Google server anyway so uh, so anyway at least I have a backup so I'm gonna just pause here. Uh, again, it's gonna take a while. So it took me a while to delete that uh, the big 230 gigabyte of file. I think because 230, maybe that the same copy was stored in my external hard drive when I backed up. Uh, I'm not sure because my Mac has only 250 gigabytes. So uh, it doesn't really make sense that uh, there are like 230 gigabyte of, of uh, file. So, um, uh, so anyway, I cleaned everything. So now um, I have 166, almost 167 gigabyte of space. Uh, so I think that was about 14 gigabyte <laughs> uh, left um, the earlier, and now I've got 170. So uh, now I got cleaned up. And but I want to double check that um, nothing wrong with uh, with my. Um, Apple Mail. So let's open that. All right. So the inbox here. So this Zen Ideas. That's my company. So I use Gmail for it. Um, still have the same uh, email. So I didn't lose anything. Sent email. Um, so looks like I got the everything. Uh, so I didn't lose anything yet. Okay. Cool. Um, Mac mail shouldn't be an uh, issue. So Mac mail is my personal email. So uh, that's the same. Okay. Um, so let's do some tests. I'm going to send a message um, from to my my personal email. And then it's a test. And then test. And I hit send. All right, so I'm going to do another one here. So, so I'm going to send uh, to my work email. Uh, okay, test and from uh, my personal email. Test. Okay, so I hit the send. And then let's see. All right, so it works fine. What about uh, my Mac email? Okay, so that one came too. So this is my Gmail to my Mac mail. So it, it worked both ways, so that's fine. Now I'm gonna double check um, my Gmail. Okay, so it looks like it's here. Uh, I can delete that. And all right, so I got everything in my inbox. And actually here too, like I got the draft. Uh, it was 687 uh, earlier. And then I still have the same, same thing here, draft, which, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. So those are draft email. Uh, looks like they have lots of attachment here and so let's see but they are kind of old one too like you know 2018 um, yeah why would I need that so um, 
Okay, I think it looks like the same, you know, 15 gigabyte, and I'm using um, almost 10, 65 percent. So that was from earlier. Or right, it looks like um, it's working well. Cool. So once again, I had only 14 gigabyte about uh, space left out of 250 gigabyte my MacBook, but now I gained 160. Uh, now 163 so probably this is just caching so about 160 170 gigabyte so that's a huge improvement uh, i don't know how many people are having kind of similar issue uh, it could be just small group of people like me and then um but anyway so i'm just posting uh this video on my youtube channel uh even though most of my audience uh, may not having similar issue but some people uh, mac users are having some issue too so hope um, this helps for uh, some of you and then i'll see you next time